Hello? Mark Zuckerberg? What? Tim is listening to? Hello? Ah, Tim? Tim Cook? What? You guys are listening on these devices too? Hello? Oh, <laughs> that's crazy, man. How are you guys doing this? This is crazy. Stop, stop spying on me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So your phone is probably listening to you right now and you don't know it. And it also knows where you are and what time you got there and what time you are going to leave there. It will probably know that if you updated to iOS 14. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you quite a number of important settings that have to do with your privacy, security and overall device performance, also battery performance when it comes to some settings that you can change. So the first one, as I illustrated, has to do with privacy. So this is my iphone that i have here let me just do a screen recording so if we open my settings right there and then scroll down to privacy and then select location services and then scroll down all the way down until you see system services click that and then also scroll down to you see significant locations so if you click that you will need to do like a face id or unlock your device so that you can see this page because this is serious information that is being collected here by apple so as you can see for me here my device knows you know my home and that's not the scary part i mean most devices know where most people stay right but if we click the way it says home right you can see that it knows what time i left home it also knows what time I arrived of course I'm going to cover just my location because it is showing exactly where I am but you can see that this is serious information being collected so they know where I am what time I arrived and what time I left and if you go back a little bit you can see that they have history of different cities that I've been to for example if you go to Vancouver British Columbia and you can see that you know they have all the information of different sections of Vancouver, British Columbia that I've been to. So if we click like a specific place, you can see that they know what time I arrived and what time I left. And also if I took pictures when I was there. So this is serious information that's been collected. And if you wanna turn this off, cause when you update to iOS 14, this is on by default. If you wanna turn off significant location, just click that and all this information won't be collected and just click turn off again just to confirm so that's how you keep a little bit safer i hope criminals don't see this because you know perhaps police also uses this information sometimes so that's one trick and then also with regards to advertising if you have ever searched for something and then you notice that after you searched for it you started receiving you know emails and ads with regards to something that you've searched for so what you want to do if you want to turn that off go to settings and then again go to privacy but this time around go to where it says apple advertising so if you click there you notice that this page opens up and you see the tab that says personalized ads so if you turn that on it means that you know you get ads depending on the information that is collected from your device or things that you like or search on but if you don't want apple or adverts to come you know personalized then you can just turn this off so that is another setting that you can turn off also something else that you would want to check out if you go into your settings and then go to accessibility and go to where it says touch and scroll all the way down till you see back tap so that is a new feature that came with ios 14. this feature is available for devices that have the glass back from the iphone 8 and newer if you have an older device that was released before the iphone 8 you don't have this so it's a new accessibility feature and basically it allows you to set shortcuts like quick shortcuts by back tapping your device on the back and you can see that for me double tap i have it on screenshot and triple tap i have it on series so for example if i'm to double tap my device here let me just double tap so that you see see that it takes a screenshot right if i'm to triple tap 
see that it opens series so that is a cool new feature that you can also utilize with this update and also something else that has to do with security with this update if you use wi-fi like all over even connecting to you know public spots of which you shouldn't be doing but if you want to keep safe on wi-fi even your home wi-fi go to settings and then select wi-fi and then just besides your wi-fi name click the little eye icon that you see there and you will see that you know there is this setting that we have now that says private address so if you turn that off it means that you know your ip address that wi-fi providers are going to collect is going to be your actual address but if you turn on private address it means that you know this address that you see the wi-fi address you see there is not my actual address and that is good in terms of security if you take pictures of sensitive information or like documents and so on that you don't want people to see you can hide this finally with ios 14. so if we open my photos app right here and go to where it says albums and if you scroll all the way down you see that you have utilities and under utilities there's a section that says hidden now this is an album that basically has all your hidden photos so all those documents that you take and you don't want people to see you can finally hide them here and the way you hide this album because right now you can see that it's showing right in the photos app you have to go into your settings and then if you go to the photos app which is right here you can see that you now have an option that says hidden albums if you turn this on it means that you know your hidden albums will show but if you don't want your hidden albums to show just turn it off and just like that and if you go back to the photos app you can see that under utilities the hidden album is gone just like that very simple very easy you're welcome now, if you are worried about specific applications collecting your precise location, you can finally change this with iOS 14. So if we go into the settings and then go to privacy and then select where it says location services and basically look for the app that you don't want to know your precise location so for me let's say for example Facebook right you can see that oh I actually have it on I thought I switched it off. Zuckerberg, what are you up to? But anyways, if you want to turn off precise location for a specific app, and for me in this case, Facebook, all I have to do is to turn that option off and it will basically have a generalized idea of my location, but not my precise location. Like it won't know that I'm in studio right now and like what was there before. So that is something that you would want to look into. Also with iOS 14, you now have the option to change your default apps. So let's, let me show you what i mean if we just you know scroll down on your screen so that you get to the search option search for something like half man right so you see all these safari recommended links that are being shown if you click on one it will take you to safari right but let's say for example you don't want safari let's say you have something like firefox or chrome or anything like that you can change your default browser app and also your email apps and more apps are being added to this the way you do this go into your settings and also go down to the application that you want to set as your default app let's say for example i want to set firefox as my default browser so i clicked on it and you see the section there that says default browser app if i click there you can see that i have the option to choose between safari chrome or firefox so if i choose let's say for example firefox and go back to the search portion you see that this changes to firefox if i go back and select chrome and you know just search uh, again you see that this changes to chrome so that is something cool that you also want to check out if you have default application and you can also do this for your email app if you don't want to use the default apple email app you can easily change your default applications now with ios 14. if you open my messages application right here you can see that all my messages are now in categories so we have messages that are from known senders and we have messages that are from unknown senders and we have a category that has all the messages now if you want to have this same setup and option in your messages app just go into the settings and then scroll down to messages and then if you scroll down within this section here you see there an option that says message filtering so if you turn this on you'll be able to see those um, subsections of known and unknown senders within your messages app which you know helps you to know if a message is coming from someone that you know or someone that you don't know 
and that's a good new feature that came with iOS 14. Now on my setup that you see here, you can see that, you know, it looks so cool, very simple, very neat, right? But the thing is, I actually have so, so many applications that I easily hid them away. And the way you do this basically on iOS 14, just tap and hold on your page basically where it's blank and doesn't have anything. So tap and hold somewhere. And you see that your device enters into Jigo mode where your applications start to play around. And if you click on the three dots that you see on the bottom of your screen there, you basically get into edit pages mode. And if you check all these pages, it means that, you know, they will show. So let's just check them and click done and click done again. You can see that, you know, all my applications are now showing, but this doesn't look neat, doesn't look smart, right? And the way you do this, uh, hide pages that have applications that are disordered just click and hold again and enter into jiggle mode click there and uncheck those pages right and keep the pages that you want to show and as you can see only two pages show and you know it's those that i've organized and worked on and that's a, a good new feature that came with this update if you are downloading applications from the app store and you don't want them let's say for example to mess up your setup that you've already worked hard to do you can change this with ios 14 and the way you do this just go into your settings and then go to where it says home screen and then you see an option there that says newly downloaded apps so you have an option to choose where newly downloaded apps go and if you want them to go to the home screen the moment you download them just select that but if you want them to go to the app library once downloaded then you can click that and what that means is that when you download a new app it won't show up here or it, it won't show up on any of your home pages that you have right it they will show up in this app library that you see here right and that's a good new feature that came with this update also with this update you have the option to basically hide apps into the app library without deleting them so let's say for example i don't like this youtube app and i don't like how it looks so how i would hide this youtube app without deleting it and setting it into the app library i just have to you know go to the app or, and go to where it says remove app and once you click that you see that your phone will give you an option whether you want to completely remove or delete the app or you want to move it to the app library so if you click app library youtube will be removed from this page but it won't be deleted and i can always search it up and find it so that is a cool new feature also that came with ios 14 and it's a setting that you can easily play around also if you don't want to tap tap on the app you can just tap anywhere on your screen and you see the minus sign that's on the application just tap the app that you want to move and let's say for example benchmark this time if i click the minus sign you can see that you know it gives me the same option if i want to delete it or if i want to move it to the app library so that's cool and it's something else that you know helps in keeping your home screen look smart Siri with iOS 14 has advanced settings now. So basically if I, you know, activate Siri by pressing this button here, you see that, you know, it's more simplified and it even shows you what's, you know, on your pages or what you were looking at before you activated Siri. And if you want to enable this and basically get rid of the Siri that covers your host screen, it's very easy. The way you do this, let's just close this. If you go into your settings, right, and then go to where it says accessibility, right there and then scroll down to where it says siri right you can see that i have the option there that says show apps behind siri so if i turn this off and activate siri you see that you know siri takes basically the home the whole screen actually right and i can see what i was doing but if i want to see what was behind me i just have to turn this on and you see that siri is now compact by the way this will not work if you have that option that is on the top there that says type to Siri. So this option need to be off in order for you to be able to allow this show apps behind Siri option. Let me just turn it on so that you see. So we have type to Siri on and show behind Siri on. So if I turn this on, you see that, you know, it doesn't work if you have type to Siri. So just make sure you have type to Siri turned off and you'll be able to see what was behind before you activated Siri and you continue to do that. So that's a good new feature also and the setting that you would want to change. Let's say for example, you have hearing problems and you can't you tell the difference between different sounds, right? So you can now 
let the iPhone do that for you. And the way you do this is basically just enter into your settings and then go to where it says accessibility and you see where it says sound recognition it's almost the second last menu there you see sound recognition for me i have it turned off and if you turn it on right you can see that you know you have uh, the option to choose between different apps you can let's say for example you can tell the difference between a cat and the dog the sounds if you want your iphone to basically send you a notification when it hears a dog sound or a cat sound just turn that on and you know it will be able to notify you but the thing with this is that you know your iphone is always going to be listening so you can even use it for emergency services like, you know, if you, there's a fire alarm, if there's a siren or smoke. And it's a good feature that, you know, you can use. But for me, I'm not going to use this one because your iPhone is basically always listening. And that also can affect your battery performance. And that would mean that, you know, with the iPhone always listening, that will use up more battery. So basically, guys, that's about it for me when it comes to some settings that you'd want to look at and change. and hopefully these settings help make your device better so that you enjoy it more seamless and enjoy more of the features of ios 14 so that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe down below and yeah stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace